What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is Mark coming back at y'all again. And tonight what I want to do is do another vocal analysis video for y'all and this time it will be on none other than the legendary late great Jackie Wilson. Now for those of you who don't know who Jackie Wilson is, he was a singer that started his career in the early 1950s and he was part of a group called the Dominoes and he eventually embarked on a solo career in 1957 and he continued to make music up until he passed out in 1975 where he was performing on stage and he had a massive heart attack and fell into a coma and he remained comatose or semi-comatose up until um, in 1984 where he passed away due to complications of pneumonia. And he also influenced people like James Brown and Elvis and Michael Jackson and people like that. So now that y'all know who Jackie Wilson is, let me just get on right into this vocal analysis. Okay, here we go. So let me just talk about Jackie Wilson's voice type. I think that he was a lyric tenor. And the reason why I think that he was a lyric tenor as opposed to being a leg arrow tenor or a leg arrow tenor is because um, even though he had a very agile voice and he had a very fast vibrato, I don't think it was agile enough to be considered to be a leg arrow tenor or a leg arrow tenor, however you pronounce it. The only thing that he did that made people think that he was a leg arrow tenor is when he would do things like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse my voice, by the way. My voice is not in a good condition. But, you know, I can even do stuff like that. And my voice is not agile at all. And so that's why I would consider Jackie Wilson to be a lyric tenor as opposed to being a Lady Earl tenor. And let me just talk to y'all about the other things about Jackie Wilson's voice. His vocal range spans from a B flat 2 all the way up to a C sharp 6. Although it said on Wikipedia that he had a four octave range, but he only showcased three of those octaves. And his highest belted note was a B flat 5, which is pretty high for a man. And he mostly sang and his mixed voice in his mid and upper register. He was a very versatile singer and he can make his voice rich and dark and bright and silvery if he wanted to. And that's one of the things about Jackie Wilson, well, about Jackie Wilson that I absolutely love so much is the fact that he was a very versatile singer. And usually people with higher voices like sopranos and tenors have a hard time singing in their lower and middle register because they get to they're so used to singing high notes and they're so good at singing high notes that they don't really focus on their lower and middle register and that's what I really liked about Jackie Wilson was that he was able to master not only his higher notes but also his lower and middle notes as well pretty much all throughout his range and he was a master class vocalist and what's another thing about Jackie Wilson that I noticed He had excellent tremolo, which is um, excessive vibrato, and he had a very well connected and well supported voice from top to bottom. And he really didn't have any setbacks at all because, like I said before, he completely mastered his instrument, and that's what made him a legend and an icon that influenced people like Michael Jackson and James Brown and what have you. And that's pretty much all I have for y'all. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.